In this episode, I'm going to give you a run through of how settings works and all the things you can change. So if we open settings up here, the first option is app. So here you can choose uh, your default simulator, whether that's FSX, Flights in 2020, Prepared, or X-Plane. And then you can also choose auto announcements, which will enable things like once you get a rev your cruising altitude, it will automatically play the announcement for whatever that may be. This PAX loading is how fast passengers load. Your altitude trigger is kind of self-explanatory, so just what altitude PAXIM will trigger at. Uh, multiplayer lets you show up on a map with other people. Pushback assist lets you use the menu to control pushback. Topmost forces air tool to stay on top of all other windows so it won't disappear. And load announcements will start is if you want to have the announcement menu load when you open air tool. Sim brief username is if you want to uh, be able to automatically import flight plans from Simbrief, you put in your username here and then click set. So in this case, my name is Jacob. Okay. And I just hit set. And then once you get the saved icon, you're all good. Backup and restore settings are once you have all your settings set up, if you want to back them up to the AirTool servers, you can restore them at any point so you don't have to reset them all up. Under map, So in the map tab, you can choose which provider you want for your Google Maps. So this will just change the look of the map as well as the data that's there. And then the map data, you can choose from one of these three options. I just leave it on server local. Uh, you can see other pilots on the map, lets other people who are using Airtool show up on your maps, uh, as well as lets you show up on their maps. Coordinates, uh, I leave mine on option one, but you can change it if, it, if you uh, are having trouble with the map working. And distance format, that's just whether you want kilometers, miles, or nautical miles. And I wouldn't touch this unless uh, someone tells you to uh, when you're getting support. Uh, these three boxes here are just for volume, so for announcements, ambient noise, and pilot audio. And then uh, captain language, you can choose from any of these three. Uh, and that's just for the default announcements. Social. So this lets you uh, show up in chat when it, and if you log in with Airtool and the chat, it will say uh, your username has joined in flying this route. And then use online chat will just let you use the chat with other people. Discord. Uh, this is for if you want your Discord status to say you're using Airtool. Um, and then supporters, this is just a list of all of the people who have supported Airtool with donations, as well as what money is being spent on. And then about and donate, this is just a little bit about Airtool, as well as people on the team. And if you'd like to donate, there's just the donate button here. So that kind of wraps up our uh, tour of the settings menu, and I'll see you next time.